Welcome to Learnpedia, the 24 by 7 JE and NEET resource at your fingertips. Let's see if you can answer this actual JE question. If you think you got the answer, post your answer in the comment section below. To know the best way to answer this question, watch this video further. Now let us understand the Stephens Boltzmann law. What is that? Stephen Boltzmann law. So according to Stephens Boltzmann law, the amount of energy, the thermal radiation emitted per unit time by a black body of surface area A is given by u equal to sigma a t raised to the power 4 where t is the temperature of the black body so here this is written for black body all right this is written for black body means if there is a black body having surface area a and temperature absolute temperature capital t then the energy of thermal radiation emitted per unit time u is the energy of thermal radiation emitted per unit time is given by this relation where sigma sigma is a universal constant known as stephens boltzmann constant all right sigma is a universal kind of a constant means its value is going to remain the same everywhere it is a universal kind of a constant and the value of sigma is found to be 5.67 into 10 raised to the power minus 8 watt per meter square Kelvin power 4. The unit is something that you can see from here because this U, U is amount of energy radiated per unit time. U is amount of energy radiated per unit time by the black body okay and on the other hand for any other ordinary object this energy u can be written as a small e sigma a t raised to the power 4 where small e letter here i have already told you it is emissivity a small e is emissivity all right and we have already proved that numerical value of emissivity is same as that of the absorptivity it is just a matter of context emissivity is used in the context of emitting the energy radiating the energy and absorptivity is in the context of absorbing the energy but we have already seen that the nature is designed in such a manner that absorption and radiation both the properties go hand in hand and here it is quite evident that emissivity is same as absorptivity the better you can absorb the better you can radiate so that is the rule means good absorbers are good radiators of energy so here you can see that in case of ordinary object suppose we have some ordinary object at temperature T in a surrounding temperature T naught T is temperature of body any ordinary object and suppose T naught is temperature of surrounding all right so rate of radiation means amount of energy radiated by the ordinary object will be equal to e times sigma a t raised to the power 4 according to Stephens Boltzmann law that we have already seen okay and suppose just for one second that the temperature of object is t naught which is same as surrounding then what would be the rate of radiation in that case rate of radiation will be e sigma a t naught raised to the power 4 in case the body temperature is T naught which is the temperature in fact of the surrounding in that case the rate of radiation will be this okay and consider the situation when the objects temperature 
is same as that of the surrounding. In that case, according to Provost's theory of exchange, we know that in order to maintain the temperature, rate of radiation must be same as rate of adsorption. So, if the body temperature is T naught, then rate of radiation is this. All right. If surrounding temperature is also the same, then rate of adsorption, let it denote with U naught rate of adsorption will also be the same because in a steady state in order to maintain the temperature rate of radiation is same as rate of adsorption but if you visualize that if suppose the object temperature is different then what will change rate of radiation will change but the rate of adsorption is not going to change so here you can understand that if you use the temperature of the surrounding in stephens boltzmann law instead of the temperature of the body then the same expression can be used for rate of absorption of energy all right the same expression can be used for rate of absorption of energy all the time so let's suppose t is greater than t naught so net rate of heat loss in this situation is going to be u minus u naught means u is the rate of absorption and it is the rate of radiation. So U minus U naught is the net rate of heat loss. So delta U is going to be U minus U naught means E sigma A can be taken out as common. So T raised power 4 minus T naught raised to the power 4. So this is the equation for amount of energy, net rate of loss of energy by the body whose temperature is T and it is kept in a surrounding of temperature T naught. So this is the Stephens Boltzmann law means the rate of radiation is proportional to the fourth power of the absolute temperature. Hey there, hope you understood the concept. Here's the solution to the question asked at the beginning. Hit the bell icon below to subscribe to the Learnpedia channel and to learn more through such interesting videos. Learnpedia's JEE and NEET prep tools contain more than 4,000 videos and over 20,000 questions. These can be accessed online through our website or offline through an SD card or a pen drive. To buy now, visit www.learnpedia.in. You can also try a free demo of our product before buying.